Welcome to Moments of Truth, a CEO leadership video series. Today we'll be speaking with Tom Klein, CEO of Sabre, a technology company that services the travel and hospitality industry. Let's hear what he has to say. Well, Mr. Klein, thank you for being on Moments of Truth. Appreciate you being here. It's great to be here. Thank you. So Sabre, tell us a little bit about Sabre. What's the history? I know that it was spun out from American Airlines. You are in technology and you're a travel and hospitality company. How do those merge? The, the core of Sabre was, uh, was the reservation system uh, found at American Airlines. It was, a con it was a collaboration between American and IBM way back when. Oh, interesting. Um, but I think our core uh, today is built off of not just that reservation system, but uh, a series of systems across the travel industry that help customers either optimize their revenues or, or optimize their cost structures. So decision support systems that really go deep into uh, a hotel or an airline or a travel agent's business. So I remember the days of paper tickets. Yes. Um, you all were into big data before there was big data, I right. gotta believe, right? But now we got, we're in the age of big data. So mm -hmm. what is this thing, big data? Well, I think you know, big data is a couple of things. One, it's, uh, it's different from traditional data that businesses use because businesses have typically used structured data. Hmm. So things that they can get their arms around generally generate it by, by their own systems or provided to them by somewhere else, somebody else. Big data includes unstructured data, things like feeds from social media, from Facebook or from Twitter or uh, real-time weather data, which is important to us in our flight operations areas, or, um, or just looking at data from other sources. Um, the second thing, it, it is really high volume data, uh, and it's more real-time. So you can actually get the data real-time or, or, and manage it near real-time real or near real-time. Now the trick is, you know, most CEOs would, aren't happy with the data they have today inside their own enterprise about their customers or about their business, but so, so balancing, you know, getting at using these tools to get at your traditional data, your structured data, and, and getting better insights out of it, but also combining some of the external data sources to get better insights into your business or your customers or better predictability yeah. about things that can happen is a really rich opportunity. Yeah. So um, how do businesses capitalize on this opportunity? What do they need to be good at to be able to do this? Yeah, what think, skills? Yeah, I think a couple things. One, I, I think the technology has gotten to, to the point where it's easier for any size enterprise to actually use big data or even their own data better. So Processing store, storage has gotten very cheap. Okay. Um, you know, your iPhone has more power in it than a, a Cray 2 supercomputer had when I got out of college. That oh. was the, it was you know, a couple million dollars in the size of a washing machine. <laughs> Today, you have more compute power on your, on your mobile phone. Um, so the, so, the, so the, the ability to analyze and to access is all driven by compute power, so that's taken care of. And now, visualization tools are off the shelf. You used to have to have teams of people that could help you think about how can I, you know, what is the insight I'm trying to get from this data and how can I actually show it to people in a way that they can consume it. That was a very expensive process. Today, you can buy off the shelf tools. So I think the first thing is understanding that awareness of what's out there for you. And I think the second thing is start with something simple like, my, what does my customer want? What's the next thing that they're asking me for? Or what's the insight that I really need? And try not to, to, to cast such a broad net because there's so much data out there yeah. that you may, you know, you, you can spend a lot of time thinking about all the data you need as, and, as opposed to what's the real next insight that I need that can make my customer better. Right. 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 So is part of what you're trying to do is give insights to your customers mm -hmm. so they can then respond better to their customers? Yeah, there's both. Okay. I mean, we have, in our consumer business, Travelocity, we get consumer insights as well, okay. but we're also, we are trying to help our airline customers and our hotel customers understand their customers I better. See. Um, and then the third leg of the stool is we're also trying to help airlines uh, and hotels understand their internal operations differently. So, um, so all of those different data sets are important. I think that on the customer side, the most interesting thing going on right now is the move of big data and mobile okay. uh, and how people are starting to interact with their mobile devices in a different way and capturing data on their behavior hmm. and sharing that with our customers and, and using that for our customers, the Travelocity is an example. Yeah. Um, really important insights because people are actually interacting with their devices in a different way than they historically have. Yeah. So when they're using their cell phone, they're actually making purchase decisions differently than if they're using a desktop hmm. or if they're using an iPad. So give me some is, examples. What do uh, they do differently? Yeah, because I buy on both. So sure. Am example, I more spendthrift in my phone than I am on my Actually, phone? usually. <laughs> um, one of the examples is when people purchase a hotel room on their desktop uh, or their iPad or their Mac, um, the consumption curves change. So 
desktop bookings are usually consumed about 21 days, inside 21 days, whereas on a, on a tablet, it's usually inside a week. Hmm. Um, and so the behavior is just different. On a phone, uh, most of the consumption is within 48 hours. Interesting. So, uh, so people aren't saying, hey, I have a vacation that's a month from now, let me, look, let me shop on my phone. But they are starting to say, let me use my mobile device to shop for a hotel that I'm going to stay at tonight even. That's really um, interesting. And, they're, and they're, the, the amount that they're willing to pay is generally lower the shorter, the closer in they are to consuming the product. So uh -huh. very interesting information because marketers use demographics and purchase history. This really says when you have a device, there's predictability around where the request is coming based on the device. What do you make of the sharing economy? And this, uh, you know, just, just the other day I took my very first Uber yes. uh, trip, and yes. there's Airbnb and yes. so on. How does that, is that disruptive for you? Is that an opportunity for you? I, I think they've, they've done a hugely disruptive thing. They've, they've created a, a company that now has a market cap or at least a, a, point, a market uh, value out there at three and a half billion dollars wow. in, the, in the car for hire service, and they don't own any cars. Um, and they're doing it with big data. I mean, they're, they're, every time that you take a ride, they're capturing information about you and where you go. And every time a driver gets a ride, they're mapping the drivers uh, around the city. So they're mapping cities, they're mapping traffic flows, they're mapping consumer behavior in a way uh -huh. that's, that's really unique. And I think incredibly disruptive for, an for the whole industry. I think we have to start thinking about um, the Airbnbs of the world and how do we integrate that into the travel experience in a different way. Uh, and I think technology will be required to do so. Well, Mr. Klein, thank you so much for being on Moments of Truth. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Many thanks to Tom Klein for sharing his insights with us today. And thanks to you for watching. Join us again next time for more CEO insights on Moments of Truth. For SMU's Cox School of Business, I am Mickey Quinones.